much fun. It's so irreverent, it's so naughty, and it's so classy. The show is called Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, you know? They're not politically correct gentlemen. Rap stars are lovely. It's the combination of sophisticated and vulgar that characterizes David's uh, songs and Jeffrey's script. It is ribald and it is sort of naughty. And that, that texture between it being elegant and beautiful and sophisticated and being gut bucket is kind of irresistible. We know where I belong, a life of taste and class, with culture and sophistication pouring out my hair. No matter how vulgar or how arch it becomes, I believe you really do care about these people and their dilemmas. And that's when you get really rich comedy, is when you care that much. It's funny on so many levels and on a very quick wit, intelligent level. It's uh, howlingly funny music and the script actually enhances the characters and their relationships. <laughs> There are characters that make it possible to have sort of a real lowbrow humor set against all this elegance and wit, and that, that, was, that sort of clinched it for me. The idea is if you can take a funny movie and bring music to it and make it more funny, that's, that's the only reason to do it, and this actually does that. Everybody came to play with us in our playground and we think we've just had this fabulous time. Jack has really taken us on a journey where he said, you know, they're going to laugh because the material is good, but we can make them laugh for the right reasons. Jack is a great director and he continues to remind us, you know, you are not funny. You are not funny. The material is funny. Then What's always fascinating to me about con men is the fact that they are really smart about people and really know what's in a person's heart and that's what they have to reflect back and yet they always have to keep somebody at a distance. Obviously the show is about deception. In some ways it's a very elegant deception. Um, and this takes place on the south of France. So the design concept is in some ways very minimal and in some ways very baroque. And you can see the, the environment itself is all these deep uh, Riviera Blues, but the water, the water lines represented by glass beads. So there's constantly this sort of shimmering reminder of a kind of fairy tale setting. No matter what piece of scenery we're dealing with, there would be the primary reading of it, and then there'd be this kind of elegant jeweling that dots it. The hotel is this intense red, kind of elegant hotel, but it's all made up of line work. chemistry between them, they love each other. We are an, an, certainly the odd couple, if ever there was one, starting with the height difference. 
but he is a fabulous comic on stage. He's the best comic partner I've had since Jane Curtin. Well, we're taking it off stage as well. And I want to out us right here on Broadway.com. He's a wonderful lover, a very tender. This is a great team. And they, they have confidence in themselves, they like each other, and they have confidence in the material. And you just sit back and beam. I waited all my life to be in a room with new material when you actually felt it lift up like that. Even here, you just thought, whoa, those two guys wail on that song, and what a great song. And it's 11 o'clock. Time to go home, you know. Yeah. <laughs>